Good morning children. Welcome to the online session of Sri Gokulam Public School, Gurwayur. I am Seema Miss here today with your grammar lesson continuity of what Nita ma'am did. Prepositions. Prepositions means position. Where about the position of the place or the time that we are talking about. So we have to use certain words. Time at 9 o'clock, at 5 o'clock, at 9 o'clock. So that is all time that we are talking about. At or uh, on Monday, day, day also. And all these are time that we So some words in English we usually use for time and place are three words, little words that are often come up in, on and at. In, on, and at. This is the common thing in English we use to give the preposition, the position of a place and time. Now, so these are the common words we use. That is, it's showing the uh, to show the relationship between two words in a sentence. There are two words and their relationship is to be shown. We have to show in relation to in, on or at. Now, in means inside something. In the class. In the class. You use in to say it's inside the class. Did you get it? Now, you cannot say on the class. You are not over on the now you can say on the table. If a table is there, over it you are keeping things. You say on the table. You are not. You won't say in the table. You are not breaking the table and inside it you are not putting. It is over the table. And if it inside the class means you are inside a classroom. Did you get it? So in, on and all has to be used in the, in its proper sense. Now, Act. Act is, again, it's about class, uh, about the time that at 6 o'clock in the morning, at 11 o'clock in the morning, at, uh, at the station, the place. Also, you can use at and all those things. So, in and on, you must understand where you are keeping that thing or the person you are standing. I'm on the station now or at the station. You can say in the train, in the train, inside the train you are. On the platform, on the platform means in the railway station platform. You are on the platform, you are in the classroom, you are in the train, you are in the car, you are on the, uh, on the tree, where you are on the tree, over the tree, you know, you are climbing over, it's over. For over you use on and for Inside you use in. That's one thing you have to remember. Then at is at somewhere uh, 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 with the time and place factor. At Mumbai or at Trishur, at Gurwayur. These are the ways you use at when you talk about time and place. Now, Act in and on. Now learn how to uh, prepositions and place act in and on are used. Act in and on are used as both time preposition and I told you place preposition. Act in and on is used for time and place. Now this is all you have to know for this thing. And then I'll tell you something more about this. Like you have a grid called like this. Now here there is in general that is bigger. This is the bigger side of the triangle. Now then this is the smaller than this. Then then there is another one that is much smaller. Now now when here you will be talking that like that. Uh, if it is about uh, 
so these are the three things you have to remember in in at and on in the place sense now that's all you have to know about in this or uh, between between means between two things i told you between two relations two things relation so you have to just underline in the first sentence about you have to underline the prepositions of time time like it's like um, now tanika and her friends are playing in the park is the first sentence tanika and her friends are playing in the park in the park is a place so in so in is only it is only place that is uh, so you have to just circle it and if it is time uh, like mm, were excited on their first day on their first day on my first day of school i was very much excited so on that time you are talking about on here so you must know what to do you have to underline it so these are the sentences please complete them now the other next exercise is about choose words from the box to make phrases with the prepositions now you have to make phrases now there is a word when force so you have to use uh, prepositions like by so by force by mistake by how like you know the preposition is showing the position like in you know, what position you did it so it was by mistake that i did it got it something that you did it by by, by law according to the law i have did it by myself i did it by myself so these are also another way of putting it the other one is at you can talk about present present tense like at present at present i am here at work uh, i am today i am at work at home i am and at least at least means at lesser this thing please come in time follow at least make a change that is please come in time so like this when you plead with something also you use at least at least you tell about make take the less time and come so have you got it please practice this learn it these are the two exercises for today about place and time where we have to use on in on between and all those things and um, please learn and do the practice and do your exercises thank you for today have a nice day children